Worksheet number 13 about waves. For general instructions, okay, please avoid screenshots in all forms of activity. Always remember that. Watch and understand this video. For laptop users, you must copy and answer using Google Documents provided by a teacher. And for smartphone, tablet, or iPad users, you must copy and answer or answer it in your science notebook. Then take pictures or picture and attach to your Google Classroom. And then don't forget to take video or picture for your documentation of the said activity or, or for the said worksheets. Okay, title of our activity number 13 is Let's Make Waves. Okay, what happens when waves pass by? Okay, for our objective or for objective post activity netto is after performing this activity, you will observe and draw different types of waves and describe how they are produced. So you will also describe the different of waves. Okay, the materials that you need class is you should have a, a rope okay at least five meters long and you please also provide a colored ribbon any colored ribbon class okay kahit anong itsura po and then a coil spring if you have a coil spring sa bahay pwede nyo pong gamitin or, or any spring pwede nyo pong gamitin and then prepare also a basin planggana na may tubig and then prepare also a paper boat of foil barge okay both or kung may laruan kayong bangka bangka you prepare and then prepare also for the adhesive tape or any tape na pwede natin pong gamitin sa activity na ito okay procedures okay a what are transverse waves so you need to answer this one class ha sagutan po natin ano ibig sabihin ng transverse wave okay Listen carefully sa ating procedures. First, um, straighten the rope or ituwid yung rope, tuwirin ang rope, and then place it above a long table. Okay? Hold one end of the rope and try to vibrate it up and down. Okay? You would be able to observe a pulse. Then, Draw three sketches of the rope showing the motion of the pulse at three subsequent instances. Take note, snapshots at three different times. You need to draw an arrow to represent the direction of the pulse motion. Okay? Dito po natin draw yung na-observe natin kanina. Okay? Again, tatlo ha. Ano yung una yung observe ba? I-drawing nyo po dito. Tapos, yung pangalawa nyo, i-drawing nyo din po dito. Ano yung pangatlo? I-drawing nyo din po dito. Base po doon sa inyong na-observahan sa inyong ginawa doon sa procedure number one. Okay? Pag nakuha na po natin yung class at na-observahan na po natin at na na nailagay na po natin yung drawing po dito, dito sa tatlong boxes, ay sasagutan po natin yung tatlong tanong. Okay, first, what is the source of the wave pulse? Okay, sulat po kung ano po yung source the wave pulse during this activity and then describe the motion of your hand as you create the pulse. Okay, and then describe the motion of the pulse with respect to the source. Okay, tandaan po natin class, kailangan pong maayos ang paggagawa para masagot po natin tong tatlong tanong. Para po sa unang activity na to. Okay, next. Okay. Tie one end of the rope on a rigid and fixed object. Example, if you have a big table, doorknob, etc. Ibig sabihin, class, itong tali na to, itong dulo ng tali, itatali po natin to doon sa isang bagay na kung saan ay heavy or rigid, ibig sabihin hindi natatanggal, itatali po natin to yung dulo mismo ng rope. And then, attach a colored ribbon 
on one part of this roof of the roof you may use adhesive tape to fix the ribbon so make a wave by continuously vibrating the end of the rope with the quick up and down movements of your hands to so draw the waveform or shape of the wave that you have created in the box. Ibig sabihin, kung ano pong naobserbahan natin dito, class, we need to draw it here. Okay? I-drawing po dito. Okay? And then, you may also ask a family member or kung my friend po tayo na to vibrate the rope while you observe the motion of the colored ribbon. But remember class that the colored ribbon serve as your marker of a chosen segment of the rope. Okay? After nito class na nagawa po natin to, kailangan po nating sagutan itong dalawang tanong. First, does the wave transform transport rather the colored ribbon from its original position to the end of the rope okay and let number six describe the vibration of the colored ribbon how does it move as waves pass so does it move in the same direction as the wave tandaan po natin class ha itong uh, rope nakatali to sa isang lugar na kung saan hindi natatanggal tapos may red ribbon or any colored ribbon if we fix natin dito na hindi gumagala o hindi nagmumove so ang gagawin po natin ay gagalawin po natin itong rope at ibibase po natin yung ating sagot doon sa ginawa po natin dito sa rope na to o sa lubid na ito okay Next, proceed tayo sa procedure number letter B. Okay, kanina is transverse wave. You know, let's move now to the longitudinal wave. So, what are longitudinal waves? Okay, pakisagot po yan. Okay, procedure 1 sa longitudinal wave. Connect one end of a long table to a wall. Place coil on top of table. And then attach one end of the coil spring to the wall while you hold the other end. Take note, coil spring on a flat table in one end attached to a wall. O ito pong itsura class ng coil spring. Okay? Or rainbow coil spring. Okay? Do not lift the coil spring and ask your friend or your family member to vibrate the end of the coil spring by doing back and forth motion parallel to the length of the spring then observe the waves along the coil spring and then draw how the coil spring looks like as you move it back and forth in the box ibig sabihin ito drawing mo nyo po dito kung anong itsura ng coil spring when you get it from the box okay next is procedure number two attach a colored ribbon on one part of the coil spring so being attached nyo po dito you may use adhesive tape to fix the ribbon Ask your family member or your friend to vibrate the coil spring back and forth. While you observe the motion of the colored ribbon, remember that the colored ribbon serve as your marker of a chosen segment of the coil spring. Okay? Dapat tignan natin ng mabuti, observan po natin ng mabuti yung colored ribbon while doing this activity or using this spring coil. And then, while doing this one class, or na-observe na po natin, okay, pag na-observe na po natin itong procedure number 2, sasagutan na po natin ang number 6. Does the wave transport the color driven from its original position to the end of the rope? And number 7, describe the vibration of the color driven and how does it move as waves pass by. Okay? Take note, lahat ng inyong sagot ay 
magbibase po base doon sa inyong ginagawang activity. Okay, let's move to procedures B. Okay, what are surface wave? Kanina, ano daw yung transverse wave? Yung pangalawa is, ano daw yung longitudinal wave? So, ngayon, what are surface wave? Okay, procedure number one. You need to place a basin with, or filled with water on top of a level table. So, wait until the water becomes still or motionless. Ibig sabihin, ay maglagay tayo ng tubig sa planggana, itlagay sa lamesa, at kailangan walang motionless. Ibig sabihin, nakastagnat. Ibig sabihin, hindi gumagalaw ang tubig, hindi nagmumove. And then after that, pwede po tayo mag-create na ng wave pulse by tapping the surface of the water with your index finger and observe the direction travel of the wave pulse. Ibig sabihin, since motionless na po yung tubig, gamitan po natin ng index finger and then itap natin, then i-observe po natin kung ano pong direction yung travel ng wave o wave pulse ang tawag po doon. And then, tap the surface of the water at regular intervals to create periodic waves. Ibig sabihin, at regular intervals of the wave, kailangan mo itap. Una, and then, sunod na naman, tap. Okay? And then, after tapping class, you need to view the waves from above. Okay? Sa taas. And then, draw the pattern that you see in the box. Kung ano pong nakita natin class doon uh, sa planggana o above, above the o above seeing the surface of the basin, kailangan po nating i-drawing class dito sa box na to. Kung ano po yung nakita ho natin o naobserbahan. In your drawing, mark the source of disturbance. Kailangan sa drawing po natin, nakamark po doon kung papaano yung sources of disturbance nangyari during these uh, procedures. O procedure rather. And then, next is, uh, pag natapos na natin kanina yung, uh, yung unang procedure, Number two na naman tayo, class. Wait for the water to become still again before you place your paper boat on the surface. Big sabihin, dito naman ay gagawa po tayo ng paper boat. Okay? Hintayin po natin na ang tubig again ay mag-steal uh, o motionless. Then, pag nag-motionless na po, pwede na po tayo mag-create ng periodic waves and observe what happens to your paper boat. Ibig sabihin, pwede na tayo mag-tap ng water. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-tap natin ng water, yun po yung pag-create natin ng waves. Tapos, pag tinap na po natin, ilagay po natin yung paper boat. Okay? And then, pag nagawa na po natin yung class, sasagutan natin ng 8 and 9. Okay? Do the waves set the paper boat into motion? What required to set an object into motion? And number 9, if you exert more energy in creating periodic waves, ibig sabihin, pag nilakasan po natin yung pag-create ng periodic waves dun sa tubig, by tapping the surface with greater strength, how does the effect, or how does the affect the movement of the paper boat? Okay? I hope naintindihan po natin ang ating uh, procedures. After doing all these uh, procedure class from uh, what are transverse wave, what are longitudinal wave, what are surface wave, so magsusulat po tayo ng conclusion po natin based on our activity or based on the activity given. Okay, huwag kakalimutan ang conclusion. If you have question, pwede po mag-PM sa akin. Thank you and God bless.